Welcome to our latest video in our new GCSE revision series and this video is on hydrocarbons. Now by the end of this video lesson you should have an improved understanding of how to name and represent different hydrocarbons using molecular and structural formula and you should also understand that alkenes undergo addition reactions with hydrogen and bromine and that the reaction with bromine is used as a chemical test for an alkene. Now this video, like other videos in the series, is going to focus on answering exam questions. And here's the first exam question, and it's in three parts. And the first two parts are on this slide. So read through the first two parts of the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll look at the third part of the question. So here's the third part of the question. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we go for the answers to the three parts of this question. So the first part of this question is asking you to give the structural formula for pentane, C5H12. Now pentane's an alkane, so it's made up of all single bonds. So I'm gonna draw five carbons in a line here. I'm gonna put in all single bonds and then I'm gonna fit the hydrogens around the carbons. Now it's important that each carbon only has four bonds here. So you can see that the first carbon I'm putting in four bonds, three hydrogens and a bond to the second carbon. The second carbon has four bonds, the third carbon has four bonds, and the last carbon here, if I put three hydrogens around it, will have a total of four bonds. So if I put these in, I will have five carbons and 12 hydrogens. And that will match the molecular formula that's written in the question. If you have this, you get one mark. Now for part B, it says the structural formula for a hydrocarbon called cyclopropane is shown. And this is unusual because it's not a compound that you come across a GCSE, but this is designed for you to work out the molecular formula. So you can see there's three carbons and six hydrogens. So the molecular formula is C3H6. Now remember when dealing with hydrocarbons, the molecular formula is simply how many carbons and how many hydrogens present. So if you have the molecular formula C3H6, you get one mark here. Now the final part of this question focuses on propene and a student has drawn the structural formula of propene however the structure is drawn incorrectly and the question is asking what's wrong with the formula and give the correct structural formula for propene so to identify what's wrong with this structure you have to look at the number of bonds that each carbon has now carbon should have four bonds however if you look closely at the structure that's drawn you can see that the first carbon has three bonds and the middle carbon, the second carbon, has five bonds. So if you spot either of those, you get a mark because that's what's wrong with the structure. Each carbon should have four bonds. However, the first carbon has three bonds and the second carbon in the structure has five bonds. So identifying that gets you one mark. Now for the second mark, you're required to draw the correct structural formula for propene. So propene's an alkene, so you need to remember that it has a carbon-carbon double bond, and it has three carbons and six hydrogens. So I'm gonna draw three carbons here, and I'm gonna put a double bond between carbons one and two here, and then I'm gonna put hydrogens around the carbons, but I'm gonna make sure that each carbon only has four bonds. So you can see the first carbon has two bonds to hydrogen and then the double bond. The second carbon has the double bond, a bond to a hydrogen and a bond to a carbon. And the last carbon has three bonds to hydrogens and one bond to a carbon. So if you have the correct structure, you get one mark. So here's our second practice question. Read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So in this second practice question, the first part says, state what would be observed when ethene C2H4 is bubbled into orange bromine water and name the type of reaction occurring. Well, bromine water is a test for an alkene. And if an alkene is present, it changes from orange to colorless. So if you wrote down that the bromine water will turn colorless when the alkene is added, you get one mark. 
Now the type of reaction occurring is an addition reaction. Now remember, alkenes undergo addition reactions. This involves breaking the double bond and a single product forming. Now you get one mark for identifying that the bromine water would turn colourless and one mark for recognising that it's an addition reaction. Now in question B, you're asked to draw ephene and you have to draw the structural formula. Now this is sometimes called the displayed formula. So you can see I'm drawing a molecule with a carbon-carbon double bond and four hydrogens around the carbons here. And this reacts with bromine, Br2. Now in an addition reaction, we break the carbon-carbon double bond. So you can see I now have a carbon-carbon single bond and the bromine adds across the double bond. So I'm adding a bromine onto one carbon of the double bond and a bromine onto the other carbon of the double bond. So that results in C2H4Br2. Now that would be called 1,2-dibromoethane. And if you had that, you get one mark. And if you had the structure of ethene, you get one mark. And then part C says ethene undergoes a similar reaction with hydrogen. Now, if you add ethene, C2H4, plus hydrogen, H2, you would make ethane, C2H6. And there's one mark for that. So here's our final practice question. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So in question three, we have a flow diagram. And at the center of this diagram, we have ethene, C2H4. And when we react it with gas A, we have 1,2-dibromoethane. And you can see I've added two bromines. And the two bromine atoms are adding across the double bond. So therefore, the chemical I must have added must be bromine. So if you had bromine for A, you get one mark. And for B, we have ethene reacting with hydrogen. So C2H4 plus H2 will form C2H6, and that will be ethane. So if you identify B as ethane, you get one mark. And then for C, we have ethene undergoing a polymerization reaction. Now, a polymerization reaction is where we join lots of ethene molecules together to form a long chain molecule called a polymer. And the polymer we would form from ethene would be called polyethene. So if you had polyethene, you also get one mark. Now then it says for part two, state the name given to the type of reaction occurring in all three cases. Well, these are examples of addition reactions. One mark for addition. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video, you should now have an improved understanding of how to name and represent different hydrocarbons using molecular and structural formula. And you should also understand that alkenes undergo addition reactions with hydrogen and bromine, and that the reaction with bromine is used as a chemical test for an alkene. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching. This and other GCSE, AS and A-level chemistry videos can be found on our YouTube channel, Dr. O Chemistry.